Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Alicia in the City. It's super good to see you here as always. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you probably guessed uh, from the title of this video, today we're going to be chatting about perfumes. And today I'm going to be showing you my collection of eight, you heard it right, eight uh, dossier perfumes. Um, I'm just going to show you some of them. So I probably should begin by how my relationship with this year started. So I've been seeing them on social media. And uh, by the way, I already have a dossier related video on my channel, which I would link down below. Those uh, were about my two first fragrances, my first impressions, kind of get to know the brand, get to know the fragrances. So um, make sure to check it out uh, if you're interested. Uh, but let's continue with the story. So I gave them a try. I really enjoyed I, to be honest with you, was quite shocked by the quality of the fragrances they sent me. Um, just to point out a little disclaimer. First, that all of the opinions are my own. Um, I haven't been paid for them. Um, even if I was, <laughs> they would be still my own. Uh, all of the fragrances were sent to me kindly by Dossier Company and uh, which I really appreciate because I truly do enjoy all of those fragrances. Um, but also something to point out is that all of the fragrances I will be talking about, I just talk about my opinion and the way how they sit on my skin. Your body chemistry might be different, therefore you might have a different opinion of them. Uh, but regardless, I love watching perfume videos myself. I always find them very helpful, even if sometimes I disagree with certain things, um, but it's, it's still very helpful to me and I hope that this video will be helpful to you. So if it will be helpful, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up by the end of this video. I would really appreciate that. So if you guys um, haven't heard of this here before, just a little bit of a background story. So their office is based in New York City, uh, which is great. I love to support local brands. And they also do, I believe they do international shipping at this point. Um, but their main thing is that they save in money on marketing, they save money on packaging. As you can see here, their packaging is pretty minimalistic. It's just a very simplistic bottle with the metal cap. It's magnetic. I personally love the design. I like those, you know, easy, uh, simplistic designs. I think that actually adds a little bit of a niche touch to it rather than having like a very uh, <laughs> sophisticated bottle. So I love that. And um, another thing to mention is that a lot of their fragrances, they are inspired by um, niche and luxury fragrances, which I would be honest with you, when I first found out about a company, I was kind of like, oh, is it, is it trying to make a dupe for per perfume? I didn't really enjoy that. Like, I I'm not about, you know, copying something which already exists. Uh, but I gotta say, I am shocked by the quality of the fragrances, by the durability, by the way how it opens up on my skin. So I am pretty excited to share with uh, you all of the fragrances I have here in my collection. Um, just a side note, I think that the majority of the fragrances in the line um, cost somewhere between $29 to $49, which is exciting because you can buy several rather than buying one bottle. Um, the longevity uh, overall, I would say anywhere between a couple hours to maybe six to eight hours, depending on the, on the fragrance and how much you spray, uh, which I think is, is good. And you know, they're all uh, in perfume concentration, which means that they do last long. I think that certain notes just sit a little bit longer on my skin um so let's start with the fragrances itself okay so the first one i have here is a uh, gluman white flowers and uh, gluman white flowers i to be honest with you uh, don't really remember what this one is inspired by but i remember that it was something um, something floral. I would actually uh, write it down um, in the description box to the video. I find what it was inspired by, if you guys are interested. 
but it's it's a very beautiful sweet floral and to me it smells sort of like Coco Mademoiselle, La Via Belle, um, Black Opium, it's that type of a fragrance, um, not overwhelmingly sweet, it's not, um, I think it's I think it's actually inspired by Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. Because I don't own uh, that fragrance, but from my memory, I think that's what it smells like. Very similar. So you kind of have an idea what it is. It's your patchouli, it's your floral. So the top notes here are bergamot, green tea, freesia, and berries. Middle notes are white flowers, orchid, and rose. And base notes are musk, patchouli, caramel and vanilla so it's very delicious imagine a beautiful table in a coffee shop you have um, a cup of foamy latte you have a freshly cut bouquet of flowers sitting next to you and i think that's what it would smell like i think it's sophisticated i think it's more of an evening fragrance rather than daytime however during colder seasons i can definitely see myself wearing it during uh, daytime, no problems. Spray it in a sweater, spray it in a scarf, you're good to go. Elegant, sophisticated, great if you don't mind that extra sweetness in your fragrance. The other one I'm going to show you is this Floriental Vanilla. That's what it looks like. I mean, uh, the bottles look pretty similar to each other though, but I'm, I'm still going to show it to you. So Floriental Vanilla is inspired by Black Opium uh, by Yves Saint Laurent and I would be honest with you to me Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium is very controversial because I love how it smells in the bottle but I hate how it smells on me it almost doesn't smell when, whereas this one actually does sit very well on my skin and I actually can, can, can smell it and um, it's actually um, it, it sits well with me, let's put it this way. Definitely more of a fall or winter fragrance, but you guys know by now I don't really differentiate fragrances in that way. I wear everything whenever I want. It just depends on my mood, but I definitely would say that overall it's more of a colder rather fragrance. Um, so top notes here are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice. Middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom. And then in, in the base here, we have cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. <coughs> Again, when I smell it, to me, it's a warm, cozy sweater, cup of hot cocoa or coffee with some spices in it, sitting by a fireplace, getting all cozy, maybe just a teeny tiny droplet of whiskey or bourbon in your coffee it's playful it's sexy it's warm again sophisticated i don't want to overuse that word but that's what it feels like it's not very you know sometimes you smell a fragrance like oh that smells like lavender okay this one doesn't really smell like anything there is no uh predominant note here i definitely smell coffee and flowers some, uh, as I mentioned, some spices, which I think is pink pepper here. Mandarin, not as much. It's more, it's not your juicy, bursting uh, mandarin. I think it's more of a mandarin peel. Uh, that's, that's what I smell here. Beautiful, perfect for fall and winter. Moving on, I will hope to uh, keep this video as short as possible, but it's hard. You know I like to talk about perfumes. So here we have um, Embery Chaffron. And uh, here is an interesting story about this one. So Embery Chaffron is inspired by Maison Francis Courdichans. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I am very, very sorry if I'm not. Um, but basically, we all know that fragrance is Baccarat Rouge 540. Never owned it myself, but heard just so many things on um, Fragnetica, heard so many things on YouTube. Everyone is just obsessed with the fragrance. And I never really 
understood it i smelled it in stores before i was like that's all right it's no biggie but here is the funny thing so a friend of mine actually owns a bucket which was uh, 540 and i didn't know that and we went out for dinner uh like maybe two months ago um and you know i gave her a hug and i smelled her <coughs> and before that i only tried this fragrance for one day i think and i told her what is a what is the perfume you're wearing and she said oh it's that like super famous baccarat rouge one and i said oh really because to me it smelled so familiar i was like how do I know it? It's like I smelled it on myself before. And then I remember that I sprayed it actually on myself a couple of days prior to meeting her. And it's just insane how close it smells. Again, you know, if you don't want to pay a couple hundred of dollars for Baccarat Rouge, I think it's a good alternative. But also, I think it's interesting how it opens up and overall if you not really know what baccarat rouge is all about let me just give you the notes and tell you what i think about it so top notes here are chaffron orange blossom middle notes are jasmine plum and cedar root uh, we also have in the base oak moss, fir balsam and amber so it's very warm very skin close with with a spicy twist. I think that this is probably more again of an evening fragrance rather than the daytime. It's I think that this is one of those fragrances where it's either you love it or you hate it. My partner for instance hate it, cannot stand it. It gives him headaches. When like whenever I try to spread myself, he's like stay away from me. It's I, I hate it. I like it. I think it smells good. I think that it's um, very complex, again, very gourmand, um, spicy, sexy. I I don't know why, but whenever I smell it, it kind of makes me think like a very glamorous setting, maybe like a nightclub or a lounge. A lot of people nicely dressed, guys wearing suits, girls wearing beautiful dresses, everything like sparkles, there's champagne, there's alcohol flowing, nice music playing. That's kind of what it smells like. It smells like a party. It's party in a bottle. I heard somewhere, and don't quote me on that, it's like an urban legend, that um, some time ago when this uh, Baccarat Rouge fragrance was very popular, um, People who were wearing Baccarat Rouge were admitted in um, top New York City um, VIP nightclubs without even <coughs> going through security. Like if somebody smelled them, they would just like go ahead. I don't know if it's true or not, but basically because, you know, it's such an um, expensive fragrance, uh, which I think um, used to be at least uh, like a staple in perfume wardrobe of of you interesting definitely worth checking out i think you wouldn't be confused with anything else like it's not your typical everyday fragrance which you smell um, everyone for sure